Well, this is our last day, family, on this journey as we've been acknowledging the gift of hope. Next week, Pastor Sandra, and then following that will be Pastor Matt, and my wife is going to conclude things on that last week as we're leading up to Christmas. But today I want to talk to you about hope for our inheritance. Ephesians 1, verse 18 says this, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people. You've seen it in the movies and you've heard the stories. Maybe you've dreamed of it too. A long lost relative who you never knew dies and unexpectedly leaves you a fortune. Turns out it really does happen. Take the case of Zolt and Getza Paletti. The brothers were living in a cave outside of Budapest, Hungary in 2009, when they learned that they were going to be receiving as an inheritance $7 billion. It was from their long lost grandmother. The Paletti brothers knew that their mother had come from a wealthy family, but she had severed ties with her family and later abandoned her sons. Their grandmother had died with no heirs and the next surviving relatives were tracked down. And it was the Paletti brothers and their sister who was living in the United States. The brothers told the reporters they had hoped that their newfound money would allow them to find love and a normal life. It's probably unlikely that you and I will inherit $7 billion. Regardless, we have the most incredible and satisfying inheritance of all. The hope to which he has called you the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people, as the Apostle Paul describes it. In Ephesians 1, Paul recaps the power of the promise that God has fulfilled in Jesus. One day, we will receive the fulfillment of eternal life, complete restoration to wholeness and unity with God. In the meantime, God's Spirit fills us with hope for the day when we will see this work complete. In Advent, we expectantly hope for the celebration of Christmas, and we look beyond with hope to Christ's return and our invaluable spiritual inheritance. How will you live today, throughout this Christmas season and into the year of 2021? How will you live knowing the power of Christ to defeat death is alive in you today? Let's pray. Father, once again, we thank you just for these moments, for these very treasure, treasured moments to be able to just come together as the family, to be able to understand more of what this gift of hope represents. And so, Lord, we thank you for the inheritance that is ours. May we live as a hopeful people and set examples for others who witness our lives and how we manage it, how we live it at work, how we live it within our family and our neighborhoods. So bless our dear Northridge family now, for I pray in the name of Christ, amen.